cats. So I'm gonna do my favorites today for March. March went by pretty quickly for me. Um, but of course there's still a lot going on. This is me and my life. John went to PT for a little while. Um, you know, physical therapy, uh, rehab place, and they sent him home because there wasn't a lot they could do with him considering his health. So that's being taken care of. There are cats and trying to get in the room. I actually locked the door on them. <laughs> There's some in here. I just don't like the door being open right now because the TV is playing in the other room and I don't want that to be like super loud. So yeah, go do my favorites for March. And don't forget to share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and hit that bell if you want notifications of when my videos go up. I usually have about two to three videos a week, and um, here we go. So, my favorites. Uh, I'm going to start out with my makeup favorites, and we got a few things here to talk about. First of all, I'm going to talk about something that came in my Ipsy bag that I was surprised by. And it is the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. I thought I wasn't going to like this. I thought it's not going to be that great. And then, the, first of all, that's weird. <laughs> like, it's not the usual packaging for mascara. And, I'm sure, I think I got... It's like a hair. Okay, um, there's still hair. That's gonna drive me crazy. You know when you feel like there's a hair there? I really don't see anything there, so I think it's all me being crazy. So anyways, this has this weird curved wand, and it's pretty long too, especially for a sample. Um, but, even closer. I don't know if it'll focus that close though. There we go. See, it's very strange. But I ended up really liking it. I like the way it seemed to push my lashes up. Um, and it separated them well. I really like this and I would repurchase it. Yeah, so that's the first thing. I was really surprised by that. Came my Ipsy bag. The next thing is one of the things that I got um, from my friends that sent the makeup care package. And this was a J-Cat item. Is the J-Cat Prismetal Chrome. I'm sorry, I keep looking down because of my paper. I know that's annoying. Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in Forest Night. I'm just gonna, so you can see the color. Sorry about my nails. I haven't bothered to redo them because I have to take the polish off for my upcoming surgery. But isn't that pretty? I really, really love this. I used it so many times during this past month. Um, just was in love with it. And I've been really into greens, but I think, I don't know. Spring is coming. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be into. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, so, there was that out. And then another J-Cat item was the You Go Girl Baked Highlighter in Moonlight. You can see it. I don't usually like baked makeup. It usually, it sometimes drives me crazy. But other times, it's really awesome. I think baked makeup goes best when you put it you either wet your brush, or in the case of this, you know, wet your face with, um, my brain just fell out. With, you know, some finishing spray, some setting spray. And I think it just works better that way. But this is really, really pretty. I was quite surprised at how pretty it is. Um, I wanted to try these, and, but I didn't realize, for some reason in my head, I didn't realize they were baked. And when I saw they were baked, I was like, I don't know now. But now I ended up liking them. And the packaging actually, I mean, it's plastic. You're not, I mean, it's, 
inexpensive makeup. So you're not going to get like fabulous packaging. Even the makeup's really great, but the packaging is eh. But I mean, I think you're paying for the packaging. You know, it's if you want better packaging, then you would pay more money. And I'd rather just have the cheap packaging, I guess. That's just me. So, oh, pancakes up here. So he might show his face at any second. The next thing, nope, he got back down, sorry. I know you're probably disappointed. Um, the next thing, of course, is the Urban Decay, Kristen Leanne. Uh, this palette, stay gold. It's so pretty. Everything in it is so pigmented. It's unbelievable. I've just, I think you guys saw, if you saw the video, um, when I opened this up, I was just so, I ended up in tears. Even afterwards, I was just crying. I couldn't believe that she got it for me. And um, I was so thrilled because I really, this was like the palette that I've been wanting for so long. And before it even came out and I knew about it and I was like, I love Kristen Leanne. And I had seen, you know, how the colors were gonna be. And I was just like, she likes bright colors. She likes things that pop and so do I. And so I really, really just love this. Such a good palette, so good. So, yeah. Yay. <laughs> I'm gonna cherish this. So, and you've seen some of the looks I've done already with that palette. And if you haven't, then you should go back and look at the videos that I've made this month. Cause there's been that, that palette a few times. So anyways, on to the next thing. That would be, uh, yes, the um, Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. I think this may have been my favorite once before. It came in a glossy box. I'm sorry, I can't stop touching my face. It came in a glossy box, not this month, but I think the month before. And I kind of like, sort of forgot about it for a little bit but then i started using it again and it is it smells so nice it isn't like overpowering rose at least in my opinion and it smells nice it feels nice and i think it does your skin good i just have to remember to use it because sometimes i forget when i'm in a hurry <laughs> that was my drawer uh the next thing is the uh royal apothic scrubby sugar lip scrub This came in an Ipsy bag. Um, it's in the flavor Fig. I really like this. Um, it's a little bit greasier, I think, than the scrubs I've used before. But I do really like it and have been using it constantly. And uh, I don't use a lot, though. So you're probably constantly in sound. But I don't use a lot. I just use the tiniest little bit to scrub into my lips. So that's that. And then this... I did get in a glossy box that like the last one I believe and this is a John Masters Organics Geranium and Grapefruit Body Milk and also there's um, a uh, shower gel too and these smell so good it's so citrusy and I just love citrus and you can see there's not that much left in this I've been using it been trying not to use it as much as I would like to because it's a sample but I did look at online and saw it's $18 for an eight ounce bottle this is of course a two ounce bottle so and $18 for an eight ounce it's kind of out of my price range for a lotion in a bath gel but not so out of it that I'm like freaking out. Like I've seen bath gels and lotions that are like 30 bucks and I'm like, who spends that much on that stuff? That seems crazy to me. I think even if I was like rich, I'd be like, nah. <laughs> You'd have to really, really convince me like that it was made from like gold. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe not that much, but it just seems like a lot for um, wash and, and lotion. But yeah, this, I really love this. The scent is spectacular. 
So the next thing I'm going to mention is TV shows that I liked. And the TV shows that we were watching, we were watching, we were rewatching Charmed, which was super fun. And it's funny when you watch something you haven't seen, like, you know, in like 15 years or something. I mean, I, yeah, it was during the early 2000s that it was out. So not that long, but like 10 years, I guess. And you watch it again and you're just like, first you're like, this is so cheesy. Then you get really into it again. You're like, oh wow, like I'm into this shit. Um, I still loved the uh, relationship between Cole and Phoebe, and, but I saw so many plot holes. I'm not gonna say it, but I was like, well that doesn't make any sense. That totally is against what they said like two seasons ago or something. It's like, yeah, you writers, you weren't working that hard, were you? <laughs> I think a lot of shows at that time though were like that. They didn't really pay attention very much. And I guess the super geeky me was like, no, no, no. They can't do that. But <laughs> they did. Um, the other shows that we were watching were uh, Jessica Jones, uh, which I'm almost done with. I think I have like one episode left. I love Jessica Jones. I loved the first season even though it totally messed with my head. And this season didn't mess with my head quite as much. There was like one or two episodes that kind of did a little bit where I started to be like, ah, but then I was like, okay again. <laughs> but it, it's a really, really good show. And her character is really good. And uh, she's like this tough gal, but she's more than that. And it's really cool, so. And the other thing is MasterChef Junior. We've been watching that. We watch that always. We love MasterChef Junior every year. They have it on Hulu, so we're able to watch it. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and otherwise than that, I think that's I think that's my favorites for March. I don't have a particular food, I think, or anything like that. I usually do but I can't think of anything that I was like super into this month, food wise. Um, but oh, we ate a lot of pork, which is super weird of us. It is. And we don't usually eat that much, but we ended up eating more pork than usual. Strange, we're usually more like chicken eaters. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, and that's, a wrap I guess <laughs> thanks for watching I really really do appreciate you guys that stick by me um, and stay with me especially the ones that have been here since like the beginning like I thank you so much um, you really mean a lot to me you do and I want you to know that I feel like this wasn't high enough like it should have been I should have pumped it up some more Right? I feel like it should have been pumped up more. Just my opinion. I want my ponytail high. So, <laughs> alright. Love you kitty cats.